Hola amigos, we are Maria Jose and Chase. We live, work, and travel in our self-converted Sprinter van. Last week, we nearly crashed, picked up some friends, and drove south to Key West. Where we rented a boat for the week and had a blast in paradise, but we missed being on the open water. We just left Heather and Jason and we have the most amazing time with them. We are super thankful that we're able to come with us. After we left Jason and Heather, we had to make a stop at Keeping Color. It was very last minute, um, but we're okay with that because what plans do we ever really have? Let me explain a little bit about Keeping Color. So this is my friends, like their family to me, it's company and they are graphic designer amazing graphic designer like unbelievable anything that you could think you want they, they can, can do, do it. it so we're gonna leave their instagram and all their info down below if you're thinking of doing stickers vinyl whatever comes to your mind anything that you could ever want for your brand your automobile decor for christmas trees like Anything, just just put your mind to it, and they probably will be able to make it. CNC furniture, holy smokes! <laughs> While we stop here, they said they wanted to do a gift for us, so they printed a picture where, which I'm gonna show you right now, and then it just sparked in my mind. Yeah, that's that pretty good though. So Chase just said, "Why do they don't make our stripes?" Updating and getting exactly what we wanted out of our van. We're gonna update the outside of the yes, van. Yes, the outside of the van, it's gonna get a lift, a butt lift. <laughs> it's gonna butt lift while we're in Miami, why not? <laughs> We said goodbye to family and started our trip back up the coast. Okay, friends, so for those of you who have been around since truly the beginning, you'll remember Brad. He's an OG of this YouTube channel. He's eaten with us, he's been sick around us, he's cooked us cactus, and we've climbed a mountain with him. <laughs> and now we're hanging out on a boat with him. Not at the moment, obviously, because we're in Chevrolet, but we just wanted to introduce you and reintroduce you. What's up guys? I am Brad, yeah. so I'm in Chevette. I am enjoying the couch and the TV and Jake here. It's been a blessing seeing these guys again. They came and visited me at the boat. We're here at the marina. We're gonna go get some food. Hawkers made sure their indoor dining kept patrons separated by six feet, but also with large acrylic panels as a secondary precaution. The food was pretty good too, if you were wondering. How do you feel? I'm sleepy. <laughs> Truthfully. Yeah, I'm pretty day. sleepy too. But I'm very happy because we got to reconnect with an old friend of ours and it has been fun. Don't you think? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. This I, area is really nice. Very pretty, I'm surprised. Very pretty area. I cannot wait to tomorrow do some fun stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> You're sleepy. I'm sleepy. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning.
We always like to start our morning by cleaning and making the bed. And then a good cup of coffee or matcha. And we always take our vitamins. Today's sponsor is Kerof. We have worked with them in the past and we're so excited that they're a sponsor for today's video. We got our first Kerof package about three months ago. And what we really love that every vitamin pack is tailored specifically to us and that they're very transparent about the research and the materials that go into every vitamin and the sourcing of those ingredients in a sustainable way. These vitamins are tailored toward us. So in my order this time, because of my diet, I got some iron, I got some cranberry peels, and I got a probiotic blend, which helps with stomach issues, you know. What do you get, Chase? Cognitive health is very important to me, so I ended up getting two veggie omega pills and one rhodiola, which helps support endurance and recovering after exercise, which is one of those things that I'm aiming to do a little bit more of this year. One of the things that I love the most is everything comes in one package. So it makes it super easy for us to take it every morning. Just grab your package and you got in here everything you need. Another cool thing about their daily packs, they're made of an eco-friendly compostable film. To learn more, visit takecareof.com slash p slash eco. We love their holistic online quiz. The approach is super simple. It's like talking one-on-one -on -one with a nutritionist to find the perfect combination of vitamins to help you support your goals, your health in one very small, simple way. If you would like to try for yourself Care Off Vitamins, check the link down below and take the quiz and see what vitamins and supplements Care Off recommends for you and get 50% off your first order using the promo code TIO50. Now let's go and start our day. After breakfast, the Chase made. That's very nice of him. Brad asked us if we will go on the boat with him and help him. I don't know how much we could be help, but because we have no idea about boats, but it's gonna be his first time taking the boat out of the marina and I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> that's today that's the goal. Crash. No crashing, no floating, but we did, uh, no floating, no. What's no, 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 we wanna float. Yeah, no sinking. <laughs> Uh, we brought some drinks, snacks, and all the attitude. Let's hope we don't die today, right? Jeez. We're not gonna die. It's okay, I hope. With you, I never know. <laughs> <laughs> I am a wild card. Sounds like a drum machine. We are currently on the maiden voyage with Stinger, Brad's new boat. How freaking lucky are we? This is so freaking cool. Everyone needs a friend with a boat, or a boat. Dude, I'm driving my house right now. <laughs> it floats. If we anchor somewhere, would you jump? Yeah. To the water? Yeah. Because you're not afraid of cold water anymore? I'm still, I still don't like it, but <laughs> when in Rome. Yes. How's this boat look on me, babe? Good. You just need a tan. Huh? You just need a tan. Oh.
after being in the boat for a little bit, I can speak for everybody, but more than everybody myself, I think we're all pretty hungry. So we're gonna head to a vegan restaurant that is here in town that someone recommended to Brad and I'm excited because I look up the menu and it looks incredible. So let's go. So yesterday, we took Brad's boat out for the first time since he's owned it, but we just kind of cruised around on engine power. Today, Brad's got a friend who knows boats in and out, and she is going to take us out and we're going to put the sails up. At least one. At least one, she says. Cool. So we'll see how it goes if we need to. Friends, after an amazing day on Brad's boat, like yesterday, but today I think it took it up a notch, for sure. We got to jump in the water. We saw some dolphins, but I tried to catch them in the camera, but I couldn't, they were too quick for me. We are all starving, so decided to stop again at the Golden Dinosaur. I'm excited because we ordered something new we didn't try yesterday and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be as epic as yesterday. So, buen provecho, friends. Let's eat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my mouth is watering. Minus two. Look yeah. at these squid. Wow, suede. it's a fantastic looking Cuban. Bye. Bye, friend. Love y'all. Love, you, so Love much. you too. I'll see you on the road soon. All right, yeah. Be we'll safe. Catch you out there, Cheers. 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 I have to admit, this little town has stole my heart from the vegan food, from the beaches, from the beautiful places that Brad got to take friends, us. Friends, after on a couple the boat. of great days here with friends in Gulfport, it's finally time to say goodbye. I'm truly considering boat life. Like, that was incredible. Come on, we're driving, Pacho. Are, are you driving today, Pacho? No, he said, I'm not. It's too much responsibility. Come on, Chibi. He said, Floridians drive cra like crazy. Oh I'm God. not responsible for it. He is not kidding. Let's go. Jake, are you ready, Bubba? We need to make a quick stop because we're about to meet some new friends. They have been following us since 2018 and they sent us a message letting us know that they're in the area. They're building a bus now and we're about to meet them and their new boss. Hey guys, we're Sean and Ash and we are here with Maria, Jose and Chase. They're checking out our schoolie today. We're about a year and a half into converting it so work in progress but come check it out. Sean and Ash are so much fun, full of life, and have built a bus with features they would make 
anyone jealous. And we can't wait to meet back up with them on the open road. Clearly, it's a couple of hours later. We have been driving around two and a half hours. We haven't told you why we're driving to Orlando. And there's a couple of reasons why. The most important one is our hotspot stopped working. And well, we sure do need a hotspot. That's the only thing that allows us to have internet. Chase works remotely, and so he for sure needs the internet. And the only solution we had was to ship it to an Amazon locker. And the only one that could have it today was an Amazon locker here in Orlando. Amazon lockers in the past, we've ordered, they give you a code, uh, you go to the locker, usually they're accessible throughout really almost all day long. This one, um, you can see the Amazon locker system uh, in the door. You get your passcode, you punch your code into the thing and your locker opens, uh, but they lock the doors at 7 p.m. Uh, to get in there. So we're staying in Orlando a little bit longer than I wanted to because we have to come back tomorrow. Something we try to do all the time is show you guys the reality of van life. And you know, well, after having a, a delicious dinner, we decided to find a spot close to where we have to pick up the package tomorrow, which ended being Basper Shop. And we realized we are pretty low in water, which we thought maybe we can fill up here, but nope. There's no fill up water here. And my feet are very disgusting. So because we cannot take a shower because we don't have enough water. We're gonna do a quick little wash down, wipe down. In Venezuela, that's called bañito de avión. Airplane wash. Wing, wing, motor. <laughs> and well, I'm just gonna scrub my feet in the sink, so. And, and my feet are already stained from wet rainbows. I swear, keep in mind, the leather dye stained my foot. So That's like, the clean one. That's the dirty one. Oh my God, your toe. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you dip it in chocolate? crap on purpose and then immediately regretted it. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> now that we're both awake, just come along with us on our morning routine. The nice thing about making your bed really well in the morning is that every night when you get in bed, you have fresh sheets, or at least crisp sheets, to get back into. I learned that from Marose. You're in a bathing suit. Well, my plan is to go to the springs today. And I'm trying to convince Chase. But we have to get our package first. We're going to the springs today. But I have to get my package first. 
He hacks for the camera so easy going. <laughs> oh, he would not have talked to me. He would not have talked to me after I bumped his head. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get in your package. Oh goodness, yes we need it. Watch this. The dogs have no idea, but they likely are starting to have an idea. Watch this. Oh, you can see his little legs. Okay, dudes. We always really like to get the spots as far back and with no parking space beside the door. That way it's just less people to have access to this side of the van while we're, you know, mooch docking in a Cabela's parking lot or any parking lot for that matter. Come on, Jacob. Can I get a squirt of that pan juice? All right. Let's go. Let's go. I have to say I realized that we have quite a bit of things to do. It's raining now. So the springs are on hold, maybe until later. We went to Trader Joe's, got some groceries. We still are missing some things, but we haven't eaten anything. And we didn't have anything in the fridge to eat. So Chase said, let's get just these pre-made burritos from Trader Joe's and give it a try. Well, little did we know they need to be on the oven or microwave and we don't have <laughs> oven or microwave. So I put it in a pan, let's see if it works, I don't know. What would I ever do without you to cut my burritos? Don't cut them. That's a good point. <laughs> what was that? It was very strong. <laughs> <laughs>